So Mike, I mean, I think a great question is, you know, how do you play a practice round? I know some of the folks at home getting ready for their club championship or if they're in team play or they're going to play in a, a city tournament. How do you prepare yourself for a practice round? What's the best way to pray, play a practice round? Well, I think the best way to play a practice round is to, is to play your shots to the pins that you think are going to be there in the tournament. Um, you know, most of the time in a practice round, they got the pin in the middle of the green. You know, they're just trying to keep the traffic away from the places they're going to have the pins. But, you know, it doesn't do you much good to play to, you know, and you won't know what's going to happen around the odd tournament pin positions. So, you know, I spend most of my time around the green um, okay. in a tournament. Uh, most of my time to the pins, trying to figure out the nuances and the subtleties. You know, and it only takes a couple minutes a hole, but you hit a couple of chips, a couple of putts, and you've got the general idea of what's going to happen. Okay. Um, and it really seems to help. How important is it to figure out what club you're going to hit on each hole? I mean, I mean, I know you don't want everyone hitting, you know, nine clubs. I'm telling the folks at home to hit nine balls off every tee. But I mean, when you're playing a, a nationwide tour event, do you hit and say, well, maybe I'll hit a hybrid or maybe I'll hit a driver in this hole? Do you try and figure things yeah, out? Yeah, you definitely uh, try to figure out what you know fits your general shot shape best, fits fits your eye the best. More important than hitting the right club uh, is finding the right spot to hit it because. Okay. You know, on a nationwide tour, you know, course conditions change over the course of a week. They stop watering the golf course, it gets a lot firmer, a lot faster. Yeah. You know, so by Sunday, a hole that I might have been hitting three wood on, it could right. be a three or four iron off the tee. So I pick out the areas that I want my ball to end up because you can never account for weather variability and the golf course changing. I mean, sometimes a hole's 20 miles an hour into the wind, sometimes it's downwind, and if I just blankly said this hole's a three wood you right. know I could end up with some problems if I wasn't thinking so getting that right yards that layup yards yeah really important. Getting, getting the just the, the area that I'm trying to hit it in and then once I, I get there in the tournament you know then I figure out how to get it there I guess another thing for the folks at home I mean do you if a green is two tiered or three tiered and there's a certain level I mean do you chart and map out and say hey it's 10 paces to this ledge to get it on that I mean is that yeah, we're does that go through your mind oh 100 percent we're absolutely um very fortunate to have uh, good yardage books out there and good caddies. Um, now, the, the folks at home don't have that, so yeah, what, the what are they going to do? Don't have a caddy. They don't have a caddy. They're trying yeah, to figure it you, out. You can make notes in your yardage book. I've done it for years. Um, where you know you, you're playing your practice round. Like I said, when you're spending your time around the greens, figuring out the nuances, figuring out the good spots to be. Um, you can also. It takes no time at all. When you get to the green, you start at the front and you take you know however many take steps it steps. is to whatever the ridge is to whatever the the issue is that you're trying to navigate. And you know, once you do that, you make a little note in your yardage book, and you've got it. You've got it there. You know that you know it's 10 steps on the green before I fly it over that false front, or something like that. And it just really helps to, you know, more than anything, it gives you peace of mind when you're playing. I see. And how important is it to chart maybe the the general terrain of the greens? Or I mean, do you do that? Do you say, well, this this green moves to the left, and you make a note in your book? Yeah. Or do you just kind of? I, I simply draw arrows in my book. Okay. Um, I draw an arrow on the green just just so I know, just so I've, you know, if I hit a putt that does something funny, uh, you know, to a pin that I know is a tournament pin, um, I will make a note of it in my book. If it does what it looks like, there's no need to make note of it because it does what it looks like. But yeah. I will, t I definitely put arrows in my book and, and highlight good spots to hit it um, just because I've, I've found over the years it really helps. I guess one thing I've always wondered too, I mean, when you play a practice round, do you keep score? I mean, should you be going, well, good, I shot, you know, 75 today and, and this is, you know, or are you just kind of practicing on the course? I mean, take me through. You what, know, I definitely do. don't keep score in practice rounds because uh, it's just no use. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I will, you know, to keep it interesting, I'll play a birdie game with my friends or, okay. you know, I'll play some sort something. of a game to keep it interesting. Yeah, you know, not something where I'm going to have to, you know, putt a five footer for bogey, but right. <laughs> something where, right. you know, there's, you, there's a few holes where you know you have to try and act like it's a tournament because you know it's like I said before it's important to practice like it's a tournament it's important to play a tournament like it's practice so uh, that just that helps but the biggest goal for me in a practice round is to learn the golf course and to right. you know figure out the way it's playing and figure out my strategy that's that's what I'm trying to do great